things that cause me crippling anxiety. A list. Item number one. Leaving the house for any reason. Item number two. Basically everything else. Reasons to leave the house anyway. A list. Item number one. To go shoot my Mamiya, RB67. It's difficult to use, difficult to carry. It's clunky. It's the least ergonomically thought through object that's ever been created by a human. And it's special. Does it take better photos than other cameras? No, not particularly. It doesn't take better photos any more than I arrive at destinations better when I walk there versus driving. I own this camera because I'm after a particular type of experience. Here's a lesson I've learned and then forgotten, learned again, forgotten again, and on this oh-so-cold morning, I learned it for a third time. There is no sense bringing a second camera along when I'm out shooting with my Mamiya RB67. And likewise, there's no sense bringing my Mamiya RB67 along when I'm out shooting a different camera, primarily. This camera is so inconvenient that it basically demands a one-on-one -on -one experience. It requires your full attention. It seems like I'm really only ever willing to take the time when it's my only option. You might have heard it said that one of the benefits of shooting film is how it forces you to slow down. I certainly agree with this. But nothing will slow you down quite like the Mamiya RB67 outside of large format cameras. But as far as hand holdable cameras go, you pretty much can't get slower than this. You decide you're going to take a shot and these are the next steps. You arm the shutter by cranking a lever. Advance the film back by cranking yet another lever. Possibly rotate your film back to achieve your desired orientation. And now with a separate device, a, a light meter, or maybe just your phone, you take a light reading. So now you set your exposure. First an aperture ring, then a shutter speed ring on your lens. And as this camera maxes out at 1 400th of a second, you may possibly be using an ND filter. I certainly am. In which case your exposure triangle is now an exposure square, and you'll need to set that as well. So next you flip up the magnifying glass to help achieve focus. Focusing the camera requires turning a knob which contracts or extends the bellows and moves your lens forward or backward. So. Flip the magnifying glass back down now to compose your shot, unobstructed. Now as you compose your shot, you find that the image is reversed, where left equals right and right equals left. And that can certainly be a little tough to get used to. Also the fact that you see more in the viewfinder, a taller or wider shot than what you're actually capturing on film, can be a little tough to get used to, can throw off your composition. And because you look straight down into the viewfinder, tilting down can be tough, like kind of awkward. Tilting up's not so bad. And now that you're all set to take your shot, assuming you didn't move or the light didn't change, you're ready to go, everything's set, you press the shutter release button, and then nothing happens because you forgot to remove the dark slide. Now some of that depends on which components you have making up your particular version of the camera. 
which of a series of modular customizable components you have on um, I'm rocking the waist level viewfinder that's my favorite it's part of the inconvenience and the fun for me probably doesn't sound like a ringing endorsement if you're a working photographer but if you're like me just in it for the fun it's absolutely a ringing endorsement why would you want it to be easy everything is too easy already too perfect you really want it to be easy well maybe don't take any photos at all look at somebody else's photos have an ai generate some art for you i'm sure that will be super satisfying easy is the death of art and perfection equals blandness it's all about the struggle at least in my opinion. I don't mean to sound super judgy. I'm just letting the internal conversation I have that goes on in my head about this spill out into this recording. More than anything, these are the types of things I say to myself to motivate myself to get my ass out of bed and to go do something difficult. Because sometimes it's worth it. Not so much this morning, though. Ugh, I'm so sick of the place I live. 